How many people have you kissed? <laughs> oh gosh. I've never gone this deep on this channel in my life, so. How many have you kissed? What's your um, biggest insecurity? How many people have you been a thing with? Have you ever kissed anybody that I know? Today, I thought it'd be interesting to have Natalie ask me some questions, but this time go just a little bit deeper than the last time. Oh, if you notice, we're in a new place. This is, if you haven't seen it yet, the house tour video I dropped. This is the new house in Nashville, Tennessee. I live eight minutes from her. I didn't move here just for her. You know, some people right. might say I did. She lives eight minutes down the road with her friend Megan. Some of you might actually know who Megan is. She's like a... Uh, <laughs> Musician. Yeah, country music, like artist. Caught a burn at that she had a 10 a.m. Thank God. Her songs are great. Anyways, this is Marlo. Come here. The uh, house dog. A lot of things have changed in the last couple months. I want you to ask me the kind of questions that are like, that you're kind of scared to ask. Dig into some... When I say juicy, I mean like juicy questions. I don't even know what to ask. Well, you can think of some, we got time. How many people have you kissed? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, starting straight out of the gate. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna- That many? <laughs> I'm gonna say probably like, cause a lot of them are just like goofy stuff. Probably 15 to 20. Why'd your eye twitch when you said that? <laughs> cause it's been twitching for <laughs> over a month and I have no idea how to make it stop. I know, how many have you kissed? You have no idea? No. You definitely have kissed more than 15 or 20 people. Why? I don't know. Because you're well, 24. You're about to be 25. How many have you kissed? There's no telling. <laughs> That's encouraging. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just, okay, let me try to think. After my college years, I was like doing, I didn't do anything. Like I was, I changed a lot after college. But before that, probably at least 20. I know you're going out kissing all the girls. <laughs> Not really. I Played feel like I probably have kissed like 20 to 30 people. I mean, just that includes just like a little peck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, you are more of an outgoing kisser. She was the first one to make the first move on the first date, right after we had dinner, just decide to start Going crazy, just kissed me for the first time. I was like, whoa. A little peck is not crazy. No, I don't think so. Like, you probably pecked your friends. <laughs> All right, let's rephrase that one. <laughs> I did not peck my friends. You've pecked your guy friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like JT. <laughs> what? That was a joke, that was a joke. Okay, have you ever kissed anybody that I know? Like my friends? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I guess I have pecked my friends. I thought you were talking about like, it sounded weird to me. But like, yeah, like two or three. But they're all like casual. I feel like everybody has those. Yeah, don't, you're like, oh, big kisser over here. Like no. now you're saying, oh, it's casual. Like, <laughs> More for just the thrill of it. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like I was like in love with 20 people. Okay, so how many people have you been a thing with? Like talked to, dated, all of the above? Talk to and dated. I have not had many relationships. I've never gone this deep on this channel in my life, so you guys are getting some juice. Um, to be technical, my first like thing with a girl was a girl named Cassie, and it, I was like 15, and my parents hardly let me go to the Did movie with her. Um, she was my very first kiss ever. I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is, this is how you know that like I'm a pretty genuine guy when it comes to this kind of stuff, because like I'm friends with all of these girls. I'm on good terms with all of them except one, but um, <laughs> I think the second one was a girl named Bailey. You're not telling the names. I'll bleep it out. Then there's another one right after her who we just talked for a little bit. And then the third one was my first girlfriend, like official girlfriend who lived in my hometown. She also started dating my friend. She's now married to my best friend growing up, which I'm happy for him. It doesn't bother me. After my first girlfriend, I had another girl I talked to and that didn't really go anywhere. She's a lesbian now. <laughs> so she must have hated that experience. Um, I think the fourth one, my second girlfriend came after that and that was throughout college. It didn't end bad, but we weren't on like the best terms now. Nothing bad happened. What happened to make it on bad terms? The girlfriend right before you? Yeah. The previous girlfriend knows her because they went to the same school. And so it was just like a weird dynamic and the other girl didn't like that I started talking to her. But at the same time, it's like, we were broken up, so it didn't really matter. I'm not gonna say the school or anything, but let's just say I do get my peaches from Georgia. 
<laughs> Don't say plural. Peach. My singular peach. He's asking me to ask juicy questions, yeah. and I think he is trying to stir up an argument tonight. I just want to get like on a deeper level with them, because I want them to feel like, like they know me even more. Biggest insecurity. Mm, that's a really good one. I just say something like, so stupid, like, my abs. <laughs> <laughs> I can name a few. Uh, my bottom teeth are kind of crooked. I don't like that. I could easily fix it. I've never had braces, but I don't really like that because this little teeth kind of sticks up sometimes. And then my hair is kind of frizzy. I, I don't really like that. I wish it was like really smooth. Um, I'm naturally pretty skinny, so I have to work, like work out and eat a lot just to look kind of muscular, like kind of muscular. I'm not really insecure because it took me a while to come up with those. I don't really think about them. What are your thoughts on astrology? <laughs> Uh, you're really you're doing actually a good job with these questions. I don't believe in that crap. Next but question. do you think that it does have some like no. no no correlation at all? Every single time I've heard a girl talk about it, there's been lots of times where I don't know my sign and a girl will ask my sign, and I'll just like come up with one, and they'll be like, "Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. I could definitely see that in you." <laughs> and then like I, in my mind, I'm like, I have no idea what my sign is. I think I say like Libra or what am I? Virgo? Virgo? Virgo. Virgin. He's a Virgo. <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> no, I'm a cancer. See, I don't even know, and I tell them, and they're like, that makes so much sense. So I feel like they're just pretty rounded out to kind of fit anyone. I feel like our generation always says, like, the universe will give back to you and all this kind of stuff. When they keep, they keep pointing all these things that happen and, like, things that God does, and they try to put it on other things, like the universe and energy and vibes and stuff. When it's all coming from God, who gives us gifts. Who do you feel like you're closer to, Brooke or Gray? Wow, what a question. Because this is a hard one because obviously Gray is my best friend. So normally the answer is Gray. Right now though, it's kind of weird because I haven't seen Gray since literally, and I've seen Brooke a lot of times since then because she's come over here. She lives pretty close to Nashville and Brooke, er, and Gray does not. Uh, and Brooke's come over here to hang out with us. Normally it's Gray. I hope he's the best man at my wedding and all that. He better be. He's got a tattoo on his butt. That's true. If you guys think that that's fake, I just want it to be known that this was not a fake thing. <laughs> I literally made a video that didn't even perform that great. It was a great video. And I literally let my best friends tattoo whatever they wanted on me. They almost tattooed Noah Beck on me. <laughs> which would have been terrible. I don't know how like, we could get married <laughs> if, we, if that happened. That was a year ago, I think. If you could kiss the prettiest girl in the world, for five hundred dollars, or me for zero dollars, which one would you kiss? I would kiss the prettiest girl in the world for five hundred dollars, which is you. It's like saying, would you kiss me for five hundred dollars or me for zero dollars? Yeah. I would kiss you for five hundred dollars because you are the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> Subscribe, like this video. It does actually help. Liking the videos actually does help the YouTube algorithm quite a bit. I've heard. So please like the video. Subscribe for next week's video. And I got more. I've been staying very consistent with videos, guys, every single week. So reward me with that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyways, we got a lot of cool vlogs coming. Stick around. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. I more? think I'm done with female questions mm -hmm. for now. Um, moving on. What's your um, 